from his well-known Champaign County veterinary practice, started with his late wife, Judy, to the faculty of the Ohio State University College of Veterinary Medicine, to the airwaves, taking part in international travel, teaching, and writing, Dr. Don Sanders has touched the lives of the agriculture community in Ohio and around the world. At heart, his love of animal agriculture began on the home farm in Auglaize County. Well, I uh, grew up on a farm in uh, Auglaize County, eastern Auglaize County, Waynesfield, Ohio, and it was a typical farm family. My father was a farmer. Uh, we had uh, a general livestock farm with some beef cattle and hogs and uh, sheep and uh, a, a chicken flock that my mother sold eggs at the back door and a dairy herd. And uh, I was the oldest of four boys. And I can still remember my counselor, who was the chemistry and physics teacher, asked me what I wanted to do. And I said, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And I could tell in his eyes, he's going, oh yeah, right. And, uh, but I was determined. That was the one thing that uh, our parents instilled in us, that to set your goals and have a positive attitude on life. They would not tolerate negative attitudes. Don grew up loving animals. His first experience raising rabbits with his brothers ended up having a profound impact on him and ultimately his career choice. There was a grocery store in Lima that would buy rabbits for meat. And, uh, but the deal was is we had to raise the rabbits and then slaughter them or process them and take them to the grocery store and got 65 cents a pound for them. I can still remember that. The thing that absolutely killed me in a proverbial way was we had to dress them. And I couldn't hardly stand to do that, but that was my compassion for animals. Clear back to when I was nine and 10 years old. And I grew up and I learned every aspect of animal management, food animal management and that sort of thing. After college at The Ohio State University, Don and Judy were a young married couple determined to start their own veterinary practice. Through their conviction and determination, they went on to establish a large, impactful practice in their county and at the same time have an impactful presence in their community. Rarely did vet students graduate from college and go out and start a practice. And Judy and I were married by that time and we did that, and we drove all over Ohio seeking the ideal place to practice, and uh, ultimately settled on Champaign County, Ohio, to start a practice. And there was 13 veterinarians here, and the first two veterinarians we met told us we were out of our mind going someplace where there are that many veterinarians. Well, uh, and not to toot my own horn, but in five years of providing emergency service all night long when people needed it and that sort of thing, whether it be regardless of the animal, uh, we ended up having a very large practice and uh, the other veterinarians were retiring and so we ended up with the largest practice in the county. His career has taken many turns as an author, a teacher, and a communicator. Many will recognize his name for the monthly columns he wrote for Dairy Today, Ohio's Country Journal, Rural Life Today, and Progressive Dairyman. On television, he hosted a bi-weekly veterinary segment on Our Ohio TV and Down the Road TV. And currently, he and Rich Hartman host the Beyond the Barn podcast. But he says his biggest influence has been on students. Well, the irony is that I talked about all these things I'd done, and I have worked in 12 countries, and uh, written a number of books and they've been translated into Japanese and Chinese and Spanish and so on. In spite of all that and the number of places that I worked with dairymen particularly and swine operations for that, the biggest impact I made, I believe, is when Ohio State talked me into coming back and being on the faculty as an associate professor. And to be able to drive around the country with students and talk about life and the important things in life. Dr. Sanders said his parents and grandparents were his greatest influence and mentors. 
His father instilled his strong work ethic, and his mother instilled what he terms the cultural side of life, focused on faith. He has lost two wives and a daughter, but his deep faith has never wavered. Those who know Don personally admire him for his generosity, his teaching ability, his gift as a communicator, and his love for his community. A trusted expert, consultant, and mentor, the Ohio Agricultural Council is proud to induct Dr. Don Doc Sanders into the Hall of Fame.